Appointments are no longer needed for Angelinos to get COVID-19 vaccinations at any site run by the city, Mayor Eric Garcetti announced Sunday. We stand at a critical juncture in our fight to end this pandemic, and our city will keep doing everything possible to knock down barriers to vaccine access and deliver doses directly to all Angelinos, Garcetti said in a statement. The move is intended to give people who don't have the time or technological resources to navigate online booking platforms a chance to get the shot. That comes a week after the city stopped requiring appointments for some walk-up and mobile locations. Now, appointment-free options are also available at the city's drive through sites, the Crenshaw Christian Center, Hanson Dam and Dodger Stadium, which are open Monday through Saturday. People can still sign up ahead of time if they prefer. The city is prepared to give out about 255,000 shots this week and expects to receive 42,000 doses of Moderna vaccine, 54,000 of Pfizer vaccine and 27,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccine, officials said. The city has also extended the hours of vaccination sites at Pierce College and LA Southwest College from 8 a.m. until 8 p. so that more people can get shots after work. A third night clinic is being added at Green Meadows Recreation Center in South L this week and will be open from 9 a. to 9 p.m., the city announced. At the city's first night clinic last week, 62% of first doses were given out after 2 p.m., Garcetti's office said in a news release. Mobile teams, which have given out 105, 298 doses of vaccine so far, will this week visit Glassell Park, Arlita, Silmar, Chesterfield Square, Green Meadows, Boyle Heights, North Hollywood, San Pedro, Wilmington and Canoga Park. So far, 48.4% of L County residents have received at least one dose of vaccine, and 34.8% are fully vaccinated, according to the Times Vaccination Tracker. Officials have said that demand for COVID-19 vaccines has waned after an initial surge of interest, as most people who really wanted the vaccine and had the time and resources to pursue it have already received one. Orange County announced it will close its four biggest vaccination centers in early June, and the city of Los Angeles will shut down the vaccine site at Dodger Stadium, one of the biggest in the country, at the end of May. Getting the remainder of the population vaccinated will be harder, according to authorities, and focus needs to be on lower-income populations and vulnerable people who are unable to drive long distances or have limited time to get a shot. Local health officials across California say they still need to do more to improve access to the vaccines, such as doing more at-home vaccination visits and offering transportation to vaccine sites. Times staff writer Rong Gong Lin too contributed to this report.